me. I would change me. She has a gift with children. She has a gift to love. <laughs> I would be willing to walk through hell itself, barefoot if necessary, for a woman like that. Are you afraid to go to Carthage? Are you? Little. Midnight. You can't sleep. Neither can I. What's going to happen, Joseph? Whatever happens, the Lord is in it. And with this work, the revelations, the temple. about bringing together the people that we love. It's about learning to turn our hearts toward each other. We cannot know at the present the blessings which God has in store for us. Emma. Emma. If we are faithful, all of our losses will be made up. Before you go tomorrow, will you give me a blessing then? Write down the blessing that you desire, and I will sign it, and it will be yours, exactly as you wish. You are coming back. Oh, I look forward to reading that blessing. to pretend father would come back. I'd wait for hours by the window. I just wanted things to be the same again. But they never were. How could they? Part of you went with them. said that God chooses the crucible in which we are tried. I'm beginning to understand what that means, Mother. But I still wish I had your strength. Strength isn't something you have. It's something that God helps you find. And usually we have to find it, Julia. One day at a time. Mother wrote out the blessing. I desire the Spirit of God to know 
and understand myself. I hope to perform all the work that I covenanted to do in the spirit world. That I may be able to comprehend the designs of God without doubting. to be able to acknowledge the hand of God in all things. I desire with all my heart to honor, heart to honor and respect my husband. I hope to be able to retain the place which God has given me by his side. Father said that the Lord will judge us all according to the desires of our hearts. As I look back on Mother's life, I believe that the blessing she wanted is already hers. There is no end to hope, Julia. There is no end to love. <laughs>